basically um, attempt to apply the results of current research to a purpose-built giant clam hatchery. Um, over the past few years, there's been a tremendous surge of research on giant clams, on giant clam cultivation, uh, particularly in Australia, but also elsewhere. And we have been involved in this research. And now we are in the process of actually building a hatchery where we draw together, together what we feel are the best options in, that have emerged from the research program and apply it in an island situation. Um, for that reason, we, after looking around, we chose the Solomon Islands, um, partly because they have, still have good stocks of giant clams, unlike many other places, also because of the enormous uh, variety of habitats that are available in the Solomons, high islands, big lagoons, atolls, uh, narrow coral reefs, um, and these can all be tested as possible giant clam farming sites. Having found a, a site in the Solomon Islands, our task was to raise some money. We were fortunate in getting good support from the Australia and Pacific Science Foundation uh, had us provided a substantial amount of the capital equipment. The Skaggs Foundation of California is another donor and the British government has supplied us with um, equipment and um, staff. And of course we are still looking for additional funds but what we are trying to do is put up the lowest cost hatchery that we can. In other words we're trying to be economical uh, we're not making vast things out of concrete and uh, and steel. We're making small structures. Some of our tanks will be nothing more than coconut logs um, supporting a, a strip of, of plastic that we fill with water. Simple things like this will be a feature of the hatchery.